Hello and welcome to the tutorial on addition. In this tutorial we will learn how to add two four digit numbers and we're going to do this using the horizontal format. Okay, right, let's begin with our first example. Okay, that's our question. 5,648 plus 2,297. Now, we've done this previously, but with smaller numbers, we're going to use the same principles. Start on the left-hand side. We've got thousands and thousands. So let's join the arrows. We're doing 5 plus 2. 5 plus 2 is 7. So let's write that down. 7, and don't forget it's thousands, so we've got three zeros. 7 thousands. Okay, now let's move on to the hundreds. For the hundreds, we've got six hundreds here, plus two hundreds on the right. Six plus two is eight, so that is eight hundred. Make sure you write it correctly, eight hundred. Okay, we're now on to the, oops, I should label them first, the tens. We've got four tens here, adding nine tens over here. So we've got four plus nine. Four plus nine is thirteen. It's thirteen tens. Okay, so we've got to put a zero at the end. The answer is one hundred and thirty. Okay, thirteen tens. And lastly, we've got the units. We've got 8 plus 7. 8 plus 7 is 15. Let's write that down. 15. Let's put another equal sign. And now we simply add the columns. So let's begin. We've got 7 to begin with. That's 7,000. How many hundreds do we have? We've got 8 and 1. 8 plus 1 is 9. How about the tens? We've got 3 and 1. The answer is 4. And lastly, we've got the units, 5. And that is our answer, 7,945. 7,945. Now, as I've explained in previous tutorials, the workings over here that, that we've done, in time, you'll be able to do these workings in your head. So even questions this large, you sh you, one day, and not too far in the distance, you'll be able to do them in your head. All you need to do is practice. Keep practicing in the written format. So I want you to write this down on paper, go through these. Once you've mastered it, then you'll be able to do them in your head. Okay, let's have a look at one more example. Okay, again, large numbers. Well, larger than the first question. Okay, there we go. We've got 7,439 plus 8,427. Now, you're probably thinking this is going to be very difficult. Just work through the same principles. Thousands, thousands. Over here, we've got seven thousands plus eight thousands. So seven plus eight is... 15. Okay, that's 15 thousands. So we, we can even put a comma here. Now we're on to the hundreds. We've got four hundreds here, adding to four hundreds. Four plus four is eight. So we've got eight hundred. So we write this in eight, zero, zero, eight hundred. Okay, let's keep going. We've now got the tens. We've got three tens over here and two tens over here. So that is, let's write this down, three plus two. So what is three plus two? The answer is five. Five tens. So therefore, that becomes 50. 
And lastly, we've got the units. We've got 9 units here, adding to 7 units. So we've got 9 plus 7 is 16. So let's write this down. Let's put another equal sign, and simply we add the columns. So on the left-hand side, well, we can just do these two together. We've got 15. Let's put a comma. How about the hundreds? Well, there's only 8. The tens, we've got 5 and 1, which is 6. And lastly, we've got the units, which is another 6. So therefore, our answer is 15,866. Again, it looks complicated because we've used a lot of colors and we've gone through it step by step, but I want you to practice this and keep practicing until you can do these in your head.